so welcome back to another video in this video we will cover a topic which is c++ type casting so casting is a conversion process in which we convert a data type into another data type whether it is primitive data type or concrete data type so there are two types of casting in c++ first is implicit casting and second is explicit casting so in implicit casting uh, it is a type of casting which is automatically performed by the compiler without programmer's intervention. For example, we can see the below code. Uh, we have a, a variable of type integer and we want to convert into a floating point number. So we will directly assign it uh, with a floating point number. The, pro, uh, the compiler will do the casting itself. But we can also uh, cost convert the and this variable explicitly. So we will use a, um, it is a type of conversion which is uh, specified by the programmer. So we can see the example, we have the variable of type integer and we are converting it explicitly into a floating point number. In C++, we have four type of uh, costing operators. First is static cost operator, uh, cost, cost operator, reinterpret cost operator, and dynamic cost operator. We will cover this topic in another video. First, we will see the output uh, of code for our implicit and explicit costing. So here's the code. Uh, first, this one is implicit costing, and this one is explicit costing. I will come in this. So we can see in implicit casting, we are directly assigning the variable double to a character pointer, to a character variable. And then we are displaying the simply the output and uh, same is the case with explicit casting, but we are explicitly calling the con conversion. So we can see we are converting the double type into the character type. So output for both will be the same. So we can see both have print a the character which is returned and uh, if we can see the both are working same so why do we use explicit or implicit uh, costing so the difference is that it if we can add 0.5 to this and same to this one we will see different results because uh, in implicit costing, first R value is evaluated, then it is assigned to the L value. Uh, but in explicit costing, the conversion is first happened. For example, the uh, double variable, which has the value 65.5, it is converted explicitly into a character variable, and then it will have the value 65 stored in it. Uh, the character will become A, so if we add 0.5 to that, that will there will be no effect. It is not going to, going to go on to 66. If you go on to 65.5, but it will round up to 65. So value will be returned will be A. But in this case, uh, the value, the ASCII value stored in A will be 65.5. So if we add 0.5 to this, this will become 66 and we will have the value B printed out. So. We can see in the output the first return value is b and second return value is a so why we use explicit costing if we can efficiently use implicit costing without any error and it is very efficient rather than going to explicit costing so if you ever had tried to write this line you try to convert a pointer of one type into another uh, type, you will directly get an error at the compile time. But we can convert a uh, pointer of one data type into another data type by explicit costing. So we know that an integer variable takes four byte in memory and a character variable takes only a single byte in memory. So when we convert a integer uh, pointer into a character pointer it will have it will store the 
return value at a single address at the single uh, one byte memory so it will display the output first we will comment this to see just that value output so the output must be the value a and it is a because we have uh, converted the one pointer into another successfully um, but if we could want to convert an a character uh, pointer into an uh, integer pointer this will not be possible this is because integer variable takes four bytes in the memory and character variable will take single byte in the memory so value return will be an integer value and it's take four byte memory so when it's going to print it the store main value which has which has to be printed it is stored on single byte only and uh, the integer variable is of course gonna print four of its byte so the extra values will also be printed along this so if we run this we will see what I mean. So first it has returned a, the a returned by this value. And then as I have told you that it, uh, it takes four byte memory. So uh, the first access value has been printed, which has to be printed out, but it also has take the extra memory that, that it has in the memory. It has four bytes. So it obviously gonna print all of the memory. Uh, all of the address value stored whether it is garbage or anything same is the case with floating point number we will comment this and go on to our floating point code so in this we can see that we have a, a variable of type floating float and we convert it into a number integer pointer this will also going to print the uh, random address a random value garbage value stored because floating point number also take four byte memory the value has to be stored at a single byte only so it is going to uh, print all of the memory it has taken in the ram uh, so this was it in the video i hope you got it and